Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a higher end, luxurious, top of the line travel trailer. Dual slide outs with a kitchen island. This is the 2023 Highland Ranch Open Range Light Model 290 RLS. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features. Then, we're gonna give you three things we love about the open range and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome, look how big this travel trailer is, the open range. Right. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. Guys, I really like taking a look at some of the higher end or the larger travel trailers. Yes! Well. Um, a lot of people like them because they want something not just like stick and tin and cheap but build better but then they also want the room in their pickup truck or they want to be able to tow with a larger SUV. Yes! And that's what I love about this. Well, well, careful what you say. You can yeah, not tow not, this maybe one. not this one. No, no, no. The advantage of this one is you get to keep the bed of your truck. Yes. And you still have a big travel trailer. Yep. Yeah, no, no SUV. <laughs> Well, let's begin. Model is Highland Ridge Open Range 290 RLS. The actual tip to tip length is 33 feet 5 inches. The dry weight is 7,301 pounds and the hitch weight is 895 pounds. Will, this is a huge top of the line travel trailer. Look at this beautiful painted fiberglass front cap. Right. Open Range, Highland Ridge. You got the lights there and everything. Right over here, we have a uh, Lippert um, power tongue jack here. Okay. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Right here, you have a diamond plate rock guard and it is a molded fiberglass front cap. Just looks absolutely fantastic. Some of that Highland Ridge does different. Notice how they'll rivet in right. the, uh, pieces of trim. Very different yep. and nice. Right over here, stay in that store. Pasture storage, look how big that is. Looks great. It does come with the Flame King, heck yeah. And then right there, uh, Furion. Prep for the Furion side cameras. Cool. Coming on down here, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights and a power awning on the slide out as well. Super awesome feature. Not only that, Will, it does have electric stabilizing jacks. Cool. Coming on down here, three year structural warranty, nice grab handle, thermal seal, which means it has the PVC roof and a heated and enclosed underbelly. Kid and pet friendly and everything else that you're going to want in it with these phenomenal solid steps. Love it. Coming on down. Look at these tires, Will. They're Castle Rocks. I love those. ST225-75 R15 with your Lippard Equiflex axle. Awesome. Love that. Very nice. Coming on down here, Will. You have power for the outside. Here's where you hook up your Flame King grill, okay. and you got a propane quick connect right there. Coming around back, we have a nice spare tire, spare tire carrier, prep for the Furion backup camera. And again, this is a ladder to get up on the one piece PVC roof well. Cool. Right over here, here's your little docking station, outdoor shower, black tank flush, city water connection. Right there's your 50 amp power cords. Um, where you hook it up and then right there is your power stabilizing jack nice all right coming on down coming on down here's where you dump another tank okay right black and gray tanks here's your 10 gallon dsi water heater very nice and then to wrap it all up my sir it's the other side of that huge pass-through storage cool well well the outside of this travel trailer looks great but the inside looks even better let's go take a look all right Check out the inside. All right, starting up front. Nice bedroom up here. Bathroom in the middle. Kitchen, dining area, and living area in the back. Well, let's give a big shout out to Lippert, and then we're gonna start inside. One, two, three, come on. 
Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Bam, we are back and better than ever. Will, it seems dark in here, doesn't it? A little it? bit, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my eyes. It's just dark wood. Right. You know, right here, we have nice storage. But you know what, Will? Dark wood hides imperfections. It does. Right here, we have nice um, balances with slow rise privacy shades. Okay. Oh man, look at this. I know, interesting. That nice. is unique. Double theater seats. Yeah. Give me the camera, Will. Okay. Sit right there, sir. You want me to put them out? No, I want you to sit there on vacation. Well, you said sit right there. I know. It's just like what I tell Jen. It's not what I say. It's what I mean in my head. Can you recline as well? Not really. Wamp, wamp. Certainly not. You know, you certainly can't kick it out. All yeah. right. Will, we will be touching on this a little bit later. Right over here, we've got a little portable table, heated seats and everything, cup holders in the middle, and a remote holder right there. Nice. Check out the little end table here. Yep, a little bit of storage underneath. Okay. You got power. Yep. And then you got the same thing over here on this side. Yes, sir. And then over here, Will, I saw you trying to play with this. I don't think that opens. I think it's just... Okay. Got a little remote holder here. And again, the same exact theater seat option. Thomas Paint Collection, very nice. And this one, this one definitely ain't bad at all. You got that, little cup holders. And I love how the little tables can go there as well. Yeah. And directly across from this theater seat, well, first, look at all the windows. Right, I love that. Directly across from this theater seat, well, is the entertainment center. Yep. Okay, we got a connect TV right there. We do have storage above. Mm-hmm. TV right here with YouTube and Prime Video. Oh, full color. There you go. Because you don't want to get a TV that's not full color. All right. Um, JBL sound system there. And a Greystone fireplace um, that produces heat from electricity. Will, I have a contest. Yeah? I will mail somebody 12 bottles of Liquify mm -hmm. to the first person who can email me an actual flat screen TV that's in black and white. There you go, for sale still. For sale still. Yep. Matt at mattsrvreviews.com to the first winner. There you go. You think that exists? Probably. Hey, this is America, everything exists. Yeah. Okay, well, over here, the dinette. Does drop down to make the bed. Okay. We do have storage underneath there. Nice. And storage underneath here. Yep. I like the flush floor. Yes. And the adjustable table. Now this table's tight. Because, you know, obviously I can push it that way to be more comfortable. I'm not going to be able to get in anyways. Really? Yeah, no, that's too tight. Try it, Dad. I can't. Oh, if I push it back, I can. Oh, yeah. There you go. Well, see, I don't mind eating my dinner like this. Look. Yeah. See, at least I won't get my pants dirty anymore. There you go. Pull it back, though. Yeah, it's just... Big boy test. Just, you know, not a horrible dinette. It's not, no. But definitely, you know. You know what we're saying. Yep. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> well, MSRP on stock number 283014. This one here in Tampa, Florida is $68,180. Will, that is MSRP. Sale price, Miss Jen, can you please reveal the sale price 
for everybody at home who is watching on TV. Yeah. Now, Will, as great of a price that is, I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price because we're with General RV. Of course. If you guys are interested, go to GeneralRV.com slash Matt's Cash. I've linked that website down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from MattsRVRVs.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us any way you can. Our team's here to help get everybody the absolute best price in America on this RV or any RV. Will. Yeah. And we sell these nationwide. That's right. Will, show us this awesome kitchen. All right, we'll start right over here with the pantry. Tons of storage in here, and you have a light up top. Very nice. These are not adjustable, okay? Okay. Coming over here, some storage. Nice. Nice high point microwave right there. Okay. And then a nice range hood right there. Hood range. Backsplash behind the um, burner, which is a three burner Furion cooktop. Very nice. With blue lights Ooh. and oven. All right. Got a little bit of countertop space here, storage right here and a drawer underneath right there. Wow. And then over here, nice newer cold refrigerator and freezer. Okay. So this is gonna be your two-way, right? Yes, sir. This is. Move your arm, please. Oops, so sorry. See it. Thank you. Nice two-way refrigerator right here. So this works off of electricity or propane. Okay. Right here, nice big island. Um, and again, islands are not something that you see much in travel trailers. Unless you're an island boy. That's right. Nice faucet, big single bowl sink right here. Because he's an island boy. Yep. What happened to the island boys, Will? I don't know. Storage right there. Do you even know who the island boys are? No. Really? Yeah. Yes, you do. Storage right here. Yeah, you're trying to be funny now. Let's see that storage funny, man. Right there? Yep. That storage right here. All the way across. And then a nice coffee bar. You can make a taco, That's a taco bar, bar out of that too. Yep. And I love how you have power right there on oh, both yeah. sides. Good stuff. Light right there. And then you have tons of drawers right here. Yes, sir. Oh, oh that on. was not a drawer. That's you sure? a light access panel. Hold my beer. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yep, nope, just access, but I like how it looks normal. Yeah. All right, well, go test out this shower. Okay. Okay, it's a good size shower actually, but there's a big step up. That's a huge step up. Yeah. But it's a tall ceiling. It is. What, what say you? Mm, it's right on that line. I'm gonna give it to it since it's a travel trailer and the width and depth is good, so bing! That's shower test seal of approval. That's right. Right over here, Will. Okay. Plastic. Womp, no. womp, womp, womp. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet here. Oh, we liquefied our brand of RV toilet treatment. There you go. Guys, there's 16 ounce and 32 ounce bottles. All you need is one ounce. And instead of pouring it out and guessing how much an ounce is, we have this one ounce pre-measuring spigot thing. So you fill it up and then you pour it in. Right. And it's just like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Easy breezy. Nice uh, sink over here. Storage right there. Storage there. And storage under here, a little bit of a bigger one, with more storage right under there. Nice. Yes, sir. Coming on. All right. right. What do we got? In here, we got a nice size. Is this a king bed? This is, yeah, isn't it? King bed. Nice size, king size bed. Yes. You got closet space here. And across the top. Yeah, same same size over same here. Second Fury on AC. Yep. Another thing there. Side nice tables. Hog of power there. Yep. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Still like how much it flips up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's very nice. And then this fell off the track. Nice windows here. And then this will is prep for a combo washer and dryer. Awesome, I love that. Very nice. And you can have a TV right there. Cool. Well, Will, that's it, that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this unit, three things we don't like. Will, what do we do first? Three things we wanna mix up and do like first. Wow. Yes, I do. Okay. Like number one, Will, for me, it's gonna be the tall ceilings. I, I agree. 
Yep, they did the curvature in the ceiling. Yep. Makes it feel much more uh, roomy, not so tight and claustrophobic. That's number one. Number two? For me, if you turn around, it's gonna be this bed here and how it flips up. Well, number one, then it's a king size bed. Bada bing, bada boom. And then number two, how it flips up, just to give you more room. It's a little tight with that bada king boom, size bada bed, bing. but exactly. you know, that gives you some more working king space. King size bed's absolutely fantastic. Well, I must concur with you. That's number two, and then, well, number three for me is going to be, you know, the flush floor in the kitchen island. The kitchen space, absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. And again, you can just tell that this is just a better quality travel trailer it than a lot of its competitors. Right. That's three things we love about it, Will. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel trailer. That's number one. Okay. Let's kick over to it. Will, dislike number one, what is it? This whole corner setup here just doesn't work with everybody reclining. It just doesn't make sense. Don't get me wrong. I do like the concept of two recliner right. seats, but if all four can't be reclined out at one yeah. time, if if a tree falls in the woods, does it make a sound? You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's what I'm trying to say about these cedar seats. That's just like number one. Great, that's just like number one. Will, what's just like number two? Just like number two. Oh, I think I was gonna say this, uh, and I've said this before in some travel trailers, but this whole, kitchen setup here is very very low for me lame yeah you're lame keep going it is what it is it doesn't <laughs> matter for you because you're short dang throwing throwing daggers out continue but um yeah no it's just really low and it would not be fun cooking here okay that's number two well mm -hmm. i have a number third okay you ready yep go behind you okay that fridge is way too small for a travel trailer like this yeah don't like it whatsoever. Right. Um, at a travel trailer like this, trying to be this level. It should have a compressor fridge. It should have a residential fridge. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I've seen travel a lot smaller travel trailers with a lot bigger and better I fridges. Agree. So that's just a huge dislike for me. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you guys are interested in a travel trailer like this, go to generalrv.com slash matscash. We've linked the website down below. You can call 844-969-4033, or you can go to mattsrvreviews.com, fill out the contact tab, and we are here to help everybody in America get the absolute best price on an RV. So, guys, don't watch the videos and not reach out to us. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you're in the market for any RV, please reach out to our team. Let us see what we can do. You yep. know what I'm saying? Will, what say you? Yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And again, it's so nice checking out bigger travel trailers like this, especially one with the Kitchen Island. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes, so much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.